Okay, so the title may be a bit of a stretch, but basically, sound bouncing off walls like echo. So yeah, I'll teach you guys how to use the ambient reverb thing, if you guys actually know what that is inside the sound service. So you see my footsteps currently sound like this. But if I made it like I changed this to like a cave, it's gonna sound like I'm in a cave, like here. See, there's a bit of a reverb and a echo. And this works with all sound effects, like if I just get like a uh, baby crying. Okay, so it's usually gonna sound like this, right? All right, but if I were to add something like concert hall on it, it'd be sound like it was like, in the concert hall. So let me actually get this array in. See that echo? So you might be wondering, why don't I just add, um, why don't I just go to a sound and just add the echo sound effect? Now, this will add echo, but sometimes it's unrealistic and it doesn't really work for a short sound. So, uh, if you really want to make your game sound like it's in a cave, you should probably use sound service and not just add echo sound effects. So, yeah, I uh, hope you learned something. And uh, uh, this sound service thing, it can actually make your games more realistic. Like if you're making a horror game, you really should use the sound service thing. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure you can change the sound service things with a script too. So, yep.